Hello, welcome back to educator.com. This is going to be a lesson on WordPress posts and pages. Uh, WordPress uh, is a blogging platform usually, um, but you're actually able to make uh, two different types of main posts. Uh, one would be your typical blog post, um, just known as a post, and uh, the other option is a page, which is um, a static thing that uh, you're usually going to have uh, available to link to um, at all times, just sort of like a, you know things like an about page or any other sort of page that's just always going to be there and uh, is not uh, updated, you know, uh, on a on a regular basis like a blog post would be. Um, and so I'm going to show how in WordPress to uh, use both of these. Um, they're actually very similar. Um, the main difference is uh, just uh, the use. One is usually going to be part of a blog that you you have new ones coming and uh, after they get a little bit old they may not be as relevant um, whereas the pages are going to be available um, all the time but they show up in different places in the uh, WordPress admin area and uh, even though they function pretty much the same uh, they have slightly different uh, workings so this is uh, the dashboard just when you log in um, on our little um, educator example WordPress install um, and it's fairly similar if you're using a WordPress.com uh, uh, WordPress blog. Um, so you've got posts right up here and you have pages down here. And um, another thing you can do is um, you can use WordPress you can use WordPress as a, uh, a blogging platform. Uh, you can also use it as just a regular like content management system, a CMS uh, for a, just a regular website. Um, so if you don't want to uh, have your WordPress uh, be primarily a blog, um, you can uh, sort of uh, make blogs, uh, make the blog posts less important um, and just have a bunch of pages and it'll just be like a regular static website if you want it to be. Um, and the way to do that would be to come in here into, uh, into your settings and uh, click on, I believe it's reading. Now this is going to control this setting right here, your front page. And that's when you go to uh, the front page of your blog or your WordPress website. Um, right now it's set to your latest posts, which is basically meaning that it's just going to be a blog. Um, it'll show the last uh, number of, right here this sets how many of the last posts you want to show. So 10, you could set it to just one if you only want it to show the most recent or whatever. Um, you've got some settings there. Um, or if you want it to show uh, something like a home page uh, and just have your site be more like a website, you can set this to static page here. Um, and then you've got uh, some options here. This uh, WordPress install only has one actual page right now. It's the about page. Um, but you could create other ones and they'll show up in this drop down. Um, but if I click here and then select the about page, now if I go to my WordPress uh, site, instead of seeing my blog, I will see just this about page. Now your blog can still be a, uh, available to view um, in a link. So you can have a website with a blog as a part of it, or you can have your, your site be mainly a blog with a couple of pages as well, um, sort of uh, going next to it. So this controls the posts page. So I would want to create an additional page um, somewhere and then um, assign where I would want the blog to be available if, I, if I'm using a static page. But let's say that this is going to be a, uh, just a um, blog and we'll leave it at static posts or your latest posts. So with that in mind, let's click on posts and we'll show you how to create a, uh, a post. Um, so this is, this is what the blog looks like right now. It's just the default install and they've created uh, by default this hello world post, this is the title, and then this is the content of it. And you can see that it shows uh, the posted on date, which is when it was created, and then it has a little bit of additional information. There's one comment, um, and there's a category, which is actually uncategorized right now. And because you're logged in as admin, there's an edit button, which is only available to you as the administrator. Um, posts, you can click on, and then it takes you to a page specific to that post. This is still known as a post, even though this is the page for that post. So don't get too confused by the vocabulary. Just think blog post, page. Um, don't get them mixed up in your mind. Um, now when you click on the actual 
post, you're able to, um, as a user or even as an admin, uh, you can add comments, view other comments, so you can see the comment right here that was generated automatically. And um, you can still see this information here um, about the post that was generated. So let's say we want to edit that. This is in the admin window. Um, this is that same post. It's a little bit different view. Um, you can click on, uh, uh, you can delete it, view it, or uh, you can actually click on it right here to go into the edit mode. And this shows you um, uh, how you can edit it. Um, so this content right here, welcome to WordPress, um, is exactly, I'll tab over, corresponding to the content here. Um, so you can see how that works. And then this title right here shows up as the title here. So you can add as much as you want, um, make it long or short. This is some additional content. Now, this area right here is the publication area. You can either preview, um, which opens just a temporary window that's not published. Um, nobody can view it except you. It actually opened a new tab um, and you can see that I added the additional content. Now when I tab over to the actual uh, page, uh, it's not there. So this is the preview, and then tab over to the actual page, it's not there. And if I refresh the actual post page, it still is not there. So if I like the preview, close this, um, then I can hit update. And now it refreshes. You can see this little notification that says that the post was updated. And if you click view post, open it a new tab, and then tab over. Then you can see the additional content was added in there. So it's pretty simple. Um, now you've got some uh, options here. This right here is uh, basically basic styling. Um, if I want this to be bold, I can highlight here and click this B button, and it will add a strong tag. Um, and if I, I have a couple other options, like for example, if I want the word content to be a link, I can click this link button and then enter a URL. Let's say we want to link to educator. Hit OK. And it automatically inserts this here. Now, you may have noticed that this is HTML. Um, if you don't know HTML, you can learn it on an educator. Um, it's very useful to uh, know some HTML if you're going to be working with a website, but you don't actually have to know any HTML. I'm using this HTML tab. I can also click here on the visual tab and it gives me sort of a preview of uh, what it's going to look like without having to work with any code. So you can see now there's no code. Um, some of the styles have been applied and this word is bolded and this word is underlined indicating that it will be a link and I don't have to look at any code. Um, so for example, let's, let's make these, um, let's make it a bullet point. You can see the bullet point actually shows up. Now when I tab over to HTML, it'll show you what the HTML actually inserted in there automatically for you by clicking that button. This is the uh, unordered list element, and then this is the list item. And then it's given it a, a span tag, which just is to control the size of the text. So um, if you're not familiar with HTML, this is actually an interesting way to teach yourself HTML if you don't want to sit through uh, the lesson that we've got here. Um, so now we'll update that and tab over and refresh just to see the changes here. All right, now I'm gonna go back to the main page or the main, uh, the main home site. Um, so